you. Well, millions of Americans went wild on Black Friday, but others waited an extra day for sales on Small Business Saturday. The old Colorado City neighborhood is seeing a lot of foot traffic tonight because of that event. Carrier News Channel 13's Greg Miller is live tonight as the festivities are wrapping up. Hi, Greg. Yeah, Jonathan, we see the large crowds every Black Friday going into the big department stores at the big malls and the big shopping centers across the area. But Small Business Saturday is gaining a lot of momentum, especially in the last few years as the word has started to spread. So old Colorado City pulled out all the stops tonight for a lot of businesses who say this could make or break their holiday season. Behind the sights and the sounds. Oh, Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. Police have put a penny in the old man's hat. Lies some pressure on small businesses. On Black Friday, everyone hits the malls, and that's understandable. Who doesn't like the holiday music and the Santas? But they forget that the shops like this, we, we need the Christmas shopping as well. Mary Keller works at Michael Garman Productions, an art company which started here in Colorado Springs, but is spread nationwide online. Still, they rely heavily on business here. 70% of what we do comes from our local military, our local firefighters, and our neighbors who shop here to get their Christmas presents. Small businesses across the country raked in $5 billion in profits last year. Keller says there's a reason. The mom and pop shops are the personality of every community. So the fact that Old Curtis City is thriving on Small Business Saturday lets people have a reason to go to their local Main Street. And their customers see something more than just a shopping spree tonight. I, I like the mom and pop shops do better than the big stores. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they usually have more unique gifts than other stores do. Well, they tie the community together. Holiday spirit. That these owners hope translates to a green Christmas. Now, Jonathan, the tradition of Small Business Saturday actually started back in 2010. It was created by American Express and it's grown really, really big ever since. A lot of these stores are closing out tonight, but they do promise other sales they will be having as the holiday season continues on. That's pretty much a retail rule 101 throughout the month of December. We're live in Old Colorado City tonight in Colorado Springs. Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Greg, thank you. Downtown Colorado Springs also filled with small businesses.